Hi, I'm Jamie from jamiedelainewatson.com and welcome to my channel. This week I'm continuing a series I started a few years ago about photographing a wedding day. We're doing uh, different parts of the wedding day from start to finish on the videos. So, so far we've made it to the cocktail hour, which is what I'm gonna be discussing today. So during the cocktail hour, there's a few things I'm focused on getting. It's a very candid part of the day, of course. I'm not necessarily posing photos, but I'm making sure that I'm getting detailed shots of any of the food or the drinks or special drinks and appetizers coming out during this time. Depending on your couple, sometimes they'll have a signature drink and different details that they've thought of. So always put yourself in the bride's shoes and look around the room and think, what is something that looks like she's put a ton of effort into this exact detail? And of course, you can never go wrong photographing all the details that you could possibly see, but definitely try to get some of the appetizer trays that are coming out as they're full, I wouldn't photograph anything less than about 80% full. Ideally, I try to catch the servers coming out of the kitchen and ask if I can take a quick photo. Now, I try not to be too annoying because the servers and the caterers, they're trying to do their job and their job is to get food to people as fast as possible. So I always smile, I'm nice, and I just say, can I quickly grab a shot of that? And I usually am using my 50 millimeter F1.2 Canon lens. I have this on because it's great for candids as well. So I'm using that for portraits of people as they're talking, laughing, and drinking. And then it's really handy that then when the appetizer trays come out, I can quickly photograph with the 50 as well. It would be super ideal to use my 100 millimeter macro lens. Now, sometimes I might have time to do this. If there is, say, um, a platter or a table set up of appetizers and it's not swarmed with people, I might have time to put that macro lens on and get in closer for a few of those really great food shots. But I'm all about efficiency. I don't want to slow the servers down. I don't want to be a nuisance. So that 50 millimeter lens is the sweet spot for being able to photograph people and then go back to the details right away. In every new part of the wedding day, it's important to get some wider establishing shots of the room. It's nice to not have all the images be with the 50 millimeter because I want the bride to remember, the bride and groom to remember what that room looked like and felt like. So I would use my 24 millimeter or my 35 millimeter to get a wide shot, both horizontal and vertical, of each side of the room or just an establishing shot that way. My favorite thing about cocktail hour is, is it is a bit more relaxed time of the day. The portraits have been done, ceremonies done, the family photos are done, and now you can just be with the guests and start to create some of these great connections so that they'll remember your name when they need a photographer or know someone who needs a photographer down the road. So what I mean by this is always just keep a smile on your face, be browsing the room, scanning for opportunities where people are laughing. I love laughter shots, and so you're always going to want to um, keep your eye on a group of people. And I think it, it becomes a bit of a, an art. It's a bit like hunting, not that I hunt. Uh, but it's like what I imagine hunting to be. Um, you notice like a pack of people and <laughs> you notice them like they're deep in conversation, they're chatting, but you know a laugh is coming. Now I'm not gonna stand three feet away from them with my camera just like poised, waiting. I actually think that's what you do in hunting. So maybe this is a terrible analogy. But what I mean is I don't want them to notice that I'm there because it makes people feel uncomfortable. So I'll kind of walk by, I'm like using my peripheral vision, I'll kind of turn the other way, but I know that I'm thinking about that group of people. And when there's a laugh, as soon as people laugh, they get less self-conscious because they're focused on the joke and the moment. So then I swivel and I can photograph that group of people and I already have my setting set up. So that's how I handle candid moments. Now, of course, it's always great to get posed they're not candid moments, posed photographs of the guests during this time as well. Um, I'm just introverted and I hate interrupting people and I don't like doing this, but my second shooters usually do and they're great at it. So if there is a group of people and, and it seems like we're not interrupting, sometimes she'll walk over and say like, hey, do you guys want a photo together? And then that way, especially for some people that are just very camera aware, it can be nice to get some nice smiling photos of them if we're not able to achieve those candid laughing ones because they just seem to always be aware of us. I touched on this earlier, but the cocktail hour can also be a great time to introduce yourself to guests, um, like before and after you take images of them. Of course, not the candid ones, because that's awkward, but if you pose a group of photos together, you can be like, hey, I'm Jamie. It's really great to meet, meet you guys. And then that way, um, try to remember their names and it can be cool to make those connections. Maybe you'll see them in the reception room later and give them a smile. And it just shows that you are 
a normal, fun human being and you're not there just to take photos and go home. You actually want to connect with these people and have a good time, just like they're there to have a good time. My last little note on cocktail hours. I'm often pulling double duty between capturing the guest candidates in the cocktail hour room and then also keeping an eye on the reception room. Are all the details set up or all the chairs moved over if they use them in the ceremony? Is that ready to go? And I'm usually staying in touch with the coordinator so I know that I can get in that room to photograph details before guests do. So sometimes I'll be like 15 minutes of cocktail hour, walk over to the reception room, 15 minutes there, back to cocktail hour. So those are the two focuses during that hour for me. Thank you so much for being here. You can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. You can like the video, comment below, and I really look forward to hearing from you. Lastly, I have a free Facebook community just for photographers. So you can click the link in the description to join that, and I look forward to seeing you in there.